This is a tutorial for Trimble Site Vision. For more information on this product, visit sitevision.trimble.com or contact your local dealer. Hello, and welcome to another Trimble Site Vision tutorial. In this segment, we'll be going through loading and placing a model using the manual method. Placing a model manually allows you to use Site Vision without a GNSS connection and is useful for demonstrating models indoors or in areas with intermittent signal. Keep in mind that manual model placement relies on the phone's own camera to orient and position the model, so try not to block your phone's camera with your fingers or any other objects. For all model placements, you will first need to load a model from Trimble Connect. To do this, open the Sight Vision app, then tap the menu icon in the lower left corner. After this, tap Load Model to open Trimble Connect. Select your project, and then navigate to and select your model by tapping it. To load your model onto Sight Vision, tap on the green eye icon in the lower right corner, and then wait for it to finish loading. Once your model has been loaded into Sight Vision, place the model by tapping on the menu icon, then Place Model. Since we're doing a manual placement, select Manual. After loading a model, the first window that will appear will ask about your model selection configuration and whether you want to place it from the top or the bottom of the model. This lets you determine where the zero height of the model itself is based on. For models that are meant to be placed above ground, such as buildings or roads, select bottom of model. For models that are meant to be placed below ground, such as a utility pipeline, select top of model. After choosing your model configuration, you will then see the plan view screen with a crosshair in the center, as well as a faded gray triangle. This triangle represents your field of view from your phone in front of you, while the crosshair represents your position in relation to the model. Use your fingers to move the model to where you want it to appear, and pinch or zoom in or out to adjust the scale, which is shown in the lower left. If you can't find your model, press the center model button on the lower right to set the position of the model to the crosshair, and pinch to zoom as necessary till you see the model. We recommend placing some parts of the model within the triangle, so the model is directly in front of you when you load it into the real world. Tap Next when you are satisfied with your placement. The next step is to adjust the height of your model. You may have to look up or down to see the model depending on where you place it in the previous step. Use one or two fingers to drag up or down to change the height of your model. If you are placing an above ground model, the model may be underground if it appears to be too close to you or appears to be following you as you move away. When you're done, tap Next. The last step is to adjust the orientation of your model. Use one or two fingers and drag left or right to move your model in that direction. When you have your orientation set, tap Finish. Once your model has been placed into Sight Vision, feel free to take a look around by walking, or tap parts of your model to reveal their attributes. Just remember that the position of a model placed manually is dependent on both the camera and AR core tracking, which may drift over time. The accuracy of AR core tracking is dependent on multiple factors, such as the amount of unique features in the model's viewing area, the brightness of the viewing area, and the motion of the phone itself. For the best results, try not to look at models on flat, bland surfaces, or for moving the camera erratically while looking at a manually placed model.